okay now um, we are going to proceed uh, to uh, some other ways to actually format our content okay so formatting the content meaning uh, maybe you want to make the text to be bold uh, maybe you want the text to be in italics so that kind of formatting so before we start I've gotten ready one page okay so the title is lesson 2 and here I have gotten ready some content I have some headings and then some con uh, some paragraphs below it so I'm going to save this so this will be lesson 1 uh, sorry lesson 2 and don't forget to change your file as type uh, save as type and done uh, don't forget to put in your extension all right so i have to resave again lesson2.html and then all types and then save so once you see the color change that means you have saved it correctly so i'm going to show you the page now open with ie uh, let's open with uh, chrome okay i'm going to minimize this so this is the page just push it to the side a bit all right so this is the content right now okay so how do we actually make uh, the content to be bold meaning you want to emphasize on certain things okay for example for heading for headings right it's already bold so you don't have to bold it anymore okay so let's say i want to bold this particular word all right this word i want it to be bolded so what i can do is i can go in front and i put b and go to the end where i want the bold to stop i put forward slash b so this will be the beginning of the of the bold and this will be the ending of the bold save and let's see the output so now you can see that the content this particular word is slightly bolder, slightly darker. That is the meaning of bold. Alright. So, if let's say I want to make underlines. Let's say I want the heading to be underlined. So, I can put here, U tag. U is to underline. At the end here, I put closing U tag with a forward slash. Save this and refresh. I'll get a underline let's say i want a word to be in italics S maybe for this one uh, there's a typo here so let me change this okay i want it to be in italics so i can use i i is for italics but make sure you close it what happens if i don't close it okay let's see the effect refresh so the whole content will be in italics because it couldn't find the ending so whatever that you open make sure you close so here i put forward slash i and save and this will have the effect there okay so i have underline i have bold and i have italics let's say i want to join everything together okay for example for this particular heading i want it to be underlined and in italics why not bold because it's already bold so no point of putting bold okay so if i want to put underline i put underline close it and i can also insert i and i can close it this way so when i save and i refresh i will get that so it's underlined as well as in italics so you can combine your text together there's nothing wrong in that okay and another thing that you need to know is this is not the only tag that you can make it to be italics there's another tag that 
have the same output. Okay, let me show you with this. Okay, EM. Go at the end and you can put EM. So let's see the effect. F5. It is in italics. So you can have I or you can have EM. EM stands for emphasize. Okay, what about bold? Bold is another one as well. Let's say I want to bold these two statements. Was very, yeah? So I can put strong. At the end here, I can close strong. Save. Refresh. And it is bolded. So you have two options. You want to use B or strong or for uh, making it slanted, you can use I or you can use EM. Okay? And another one. Okay, let's look at this particular statement. 21 ST. Okay, uh, remember whenever we have like 22nd, 23rd with the ST at the back, with the RD at the back, uh, usually it'll, it will be slightly on top. Right? So how do I make this to be like above a bit? Like it's not nice to have something like this. So what I can do is I will go to the affected area that I want to have that effect. Okay? So I put at the front of it, I put SUP. And at the back, I'll put forward slash SUP. This is super script. Whenever you use a superscript tag, it will go slightly above. Okay, so let me show you the effect. F5, can you see? It is slightly on top. Okay, what if you want it to be at the bottom? Okay, let's say I want to put my, okay, slightly at the bottom. I can use subscript, S-U-B. And I'll make sure that I close it. S-U-B. Usually, subscript, you will use it for mathematical formulas. Alright? So, F5. And you'll have that. Okay? One is slightly above. The other one is slightly at the bottom. So, these are the tags that you can actually use. There's another one. Uh, that I think you are very familiar with. Okay, let's say I put something like this. Um, normal price. RM, 3 ringgit, 40 cents. Uh, but maybe this is the old price. So maybe they have came up with um, a new price, maybe a discounted price. So it will be slightly cheaper, maybe 2 ringgit and 90 cents. So the old price can be cancelled off but they do not want to remove the price from the display okay so let me save this first and refresh okay they want the old price to be still visible but they want to cancel it off and replace it with a new one so what they do is you can use the delete tag okay this is one tag that you can use this is to delete and to tell that there's a new value you can use insert so you delete one and you insert another one okay so here we have something like this and when you refresh you'll have this effect if you cancel it using del it will have a line through the word and if you use the insert tag you have an underline okay but usually when you want to have a normal underline like the one that we had here okay for this one of course we don't use insert all right you use insert for when you want to cancel off something and you want to replace it with a new uh, value or new data Okay, another one that you can, uh, another tag that maybe will be useful will be this. Uh, 
let's say uh, you want to emphasize on this particular word price all right so what you can do is you can have like mark and you can close mark okay uh, sorry all right mark save this let's see the effect ah notice that the color has been changed so by default it will be yellow in color and by the way this particular um, uh, tag uh, will work in certain browsers only not all browsers can have this effect all right so uh, for this particular lesson you know how to use underline bold italics superscript subscript using strong and emphasize using mark using uh, delete and using insert okay